Right, I'm pretty sure this is the last video of our World Cup Where Are They Now series, so I suppose it's only right that we save the best until last. The World Cup Golden Ball is the award given to the player judged to have been the most impressive over the course of a single tournament. Before we get underway, I recently had a meeting with a consultant at YouTube who said you won't get any growth asking people to subscribe to your channel at the end of a video, since no one actually watches a whole video. I know, bit harsh, but as a trial, please do subscribe to the ever-brilliant HRTC7s. Don't think this means I won't ask you again at the end for all 12 of you who actually watch our entire videos. Here are the last seven World Cup Golden Ball winners, where are they now? Lionel Messi, Barcelona. The winner of the 2014 World Cup Golden Ball was a somewhat controversial choice. Lionel Messi was excellent for Argentina, being named as Man of the Match in five out of the seven games he played in. However, a number of people felt Colombia star James Rodriguez was more deserving of the award. Anyhow, it went to Messi whose Argentina side lost 1-0 to Germany in the final. Messi has since continued to be absolutely sensational, with 198 goals in 212 games for Barcelona in the four years since that tournament, despite often playing in a much deeper role. Diego Forlan, free agent. There were some excellent candidates for the 2010 World Cup Golden Ball, and I don't think too many people could have complained if it had gone to Xavi, Andres Iniesta, or Wesley Schneider. Equally though, Diego Forlan was a just as deserved winner. At the age of 31, he was a talisman for Uruguay and the joint top scorer at the tournament with five goals, three of which came from outside the penalty area. Forlan was starring for Atletico Madrid at the time, but the tournament marked the end of his career at the highest level. Following a disappointing stint in Italy, Forlan has since played in Brazil, Japan, Uruguay, India and Hong Kong. Now aged 39, Forlan left Kitchi of Hong Kong at the end of last season, but hasn't yet confirmed his retirement from the game. Zinedine Zidane, manager unattached. Seeing off the likes of Gianluigi Buffon, Fabio Cannavaro, and Andrea Perlo to win the 2006 World Cup Golden Ball, that tournament was the last we saw of Zinedine Zidane as a player. The then 34-year-old had just shown glimpses of decline at Real Madrid, and was clearly keen to go out on top. He almost went out at the very top, as France's star man in their run to the final. The less said about the final the better, from Zizou's perspective unfortunately however, with the former Ballon d'Or winner being handed his marching orders. Zidane managed Real's reserve side from 2014 to 2016, when he was handed the top job. Three Champions League titles in three seasons is a remarkable achievement regardless of the talent one has at their disposal, and Zidane is unlikely to be short of options when he does decide to return to full-time management. Oliver Kahn, Pundit We'll keep it brief on this one, since Oliver Kahn only very recently featured in our look at the last seven World Cup Golden Glove winners, and we don't want to bore you repeating ourselves. Basically, Kahn was tremendous at the 2002 World Cup, and only his biggest rival for the Golden Ball, Ronaldo, could put an end to Germany's World Cup hopes. Kahn continued to star for Bayern up until 2008 when he hung up his gloves, and the 49-year-old now works as a football pundit on German TV. Ronaldo, Ambassador one could make a strong case that Ronaldo ought to have won the World Cup Golden Ball in both 1998 and 2002, but the former was the only time he officially got his hands on that accolade. Incredibly quick, technically brilliant, strong, cunning and clinical, he may only have been 21, but Ronaldo was just about at the peak of his powers in 1998. His four goals and three assists at France 98 inspired Brazil to a second consecutive World Cup final, but just hours before the final itself, Ronaldo was in hospital receiving treatment for a convulsive fit. He played but wasn't himself as Brazil lost 3-0. Now aged 41, the all-time great works in an array of ambassadorial roles, including charity work with the United Nations and FIFA as a World Cup Legends Ambassador. Romario, Politician From one great Brazilian centre forward to another, whilst Ronaldo was an unstoppable combination of pace, power and flair, Romario was the epitome of natural goal-scoring genius. He was up to his usual tricks at the 1994 World Cup in America, scoring five goals and being named as the best player at the tournament. Remarkably, Romario is the last man to have won both the Golden Ball and the World Cup itself at the same tournament. Since belatedly hanging up his boots at the ripe old age of 43, Romario has entered politics, and he plans to run for the Governor of Rio in Brazil's October 2018 elections. Salvatore Scalacci no idea. Well, 
This is a first for HRAD CC7s, but we really don't know what Salvatore Scalacci is getting up to these days, so if you do, please let us know in the comments section. What we do know is that Scalacci was one of the stars of Italia 90, with his stardom emerging as rapidly as it decimated. His football career ended in Japan in 1997, and he appeared on Irish TV in their coverage of Euro 2012. Since then, as we said, we just have no idea. So that's it for our 7. Let us know your thoughts and any other World Cup ideas you'd like to see from us in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for the People's Channel of HITC 7s. Also, we recently set up a Twitter account, so you can now follow us and get in touch. Our username is simply at HITC7s.